Hi everyone, I'm Marcy, and today I'm putting a new twist on an old-fashioned recipe and making pumpkin spice popcorn balls. For some of you, this is gonna take you back to your childhood. First, if you're not already subscribed to my channel, why not do it now? Just hit that subscribe button. It doesn't cost you a thing, but it helps my channel get recommended to others. And let's get cooking. I had already planned to make popcorn balls when I went to the store the other day and saw these for the first time. They're pumpkin spice baking chips. And I thought it'd be really great to put them in the popcorn balls and then also melt some and drizzle it on top for extra yumminess. Now, I don't think I'll be using the whole bag, but we'll see when we get to that point. Now, aside from that, you're also going to need about 15 cups of popped popcorn. And just so you know, that's a little more than half a cup of kernels when they're not popped. You'll also need one stick of butter or half a cup, half a cup of light corn syrup, half a cup of water, one cup of sugar, half a teaspoon salt, one teaspoon vanilla extract, and then you're also gonna need some non-stick cooking spray that we're gonna be using on our hands, or if you wanna use rubber or plastic gloves, you'll use it on there when we get to the point where we're forming the popcorn balls. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to place the popped popcorn into the oven that is set at 250 degrees so that it stays warm while we make the syrup. Now we'll take a medium-sized saucepan and place the sugar, the corn syrup, the water, the butter, and the salt in it. And we're going to set the burner to medium high heat and let everything get melted together as we stir continually. If you have a candy thermometer, go ahead and put it in your saucepan at this point because it's very helpful when making popcorn balls. When the syrup comes to a boil, you'll want to keep an eye on the thermometer because you want it to reach about 250 to 300 degrees. If you don't have a thermometer, let it continue to boil for about 15 minutes longer. You'll see the consistency and color start to change. All right, looks like it hit 250 degrees, so I'm gonna take it off the burner and quickly mix in the vanilla extract. I'll then take the popcorn out of the oven, transfer it into a large bowl, and I'm going to pour the syrup all over it and try to mix it up as quickly and as best as I can. I'm also going to sprinkle in some of these pumpkin spice baking chips and get everything all mixed together. Okay, I think we're ready to make the balls. Then with clean hands or gloved hands, you'll want to spray on some nonstick cooking spray and start forming your popcorn balls. If the popcorn is too hot to handle, let it cool just a bit, but don't wait too long. The quicker you do this, the better they'll stick together. You just press and you keep making them whatever size you like. I'm using about a cup of popcorn for each ball, so since I started with 15 cups, I should end up with 15 popcorn balls. These already look great, but now I'm going to melt some of these extra baking chips so that I can drizzle on top and they'll look extra festive. I just microwave about 40 seconds and stir. I drizzle on top and these old-fashioned popcorn balls have a fresh new look. And there you have 
have it, pumpkin spice popcorn balls. Your dentist probably isn't gonna like it, but your kids will love them, and so will you. They're really delicious. Mm. And also, you don't have to use the pumpkin spice baking chips. You can use chocolate chips, you can use candy corn. You can just be creative and have some fun with it, or you can just eat them plain. I hope you try them. Thanks so much for checking out this video. Be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. You can also follow me at Marcy Inspired on Instagram and Facebook. Until next time, blessings from my kitchen to yours. Thank you.